What do you think of when you hear the word recovery? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Is it drugs? Is it alcohol? Pornography? Well, when people hear recovery, those are typically the first things that that come to mind. What I hear a lot as a pastor, and by the way, I love those that are in recovery. What I'm saying is, I love all of you because we're all in recovery. We're all broken. We all live in a broken world where nothing works right except Jesus Christ, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, God's Word and prayer. Nothing else works right. And so we all need to recover from the brokenness in life. You know the difference between someone struggling with drugs and alcohol and someone struggling with just a simple insecurity or a fear? It's simply how they manage the pain in their lives. See, we've all been hurt. We've hurt others and others have hurt us. And for most of us, We live with unhealed and unresolved hurts for most of our lives. We'll never tell a single soul about it. And the problem with that is, is that at some point, those hurts come out in some form of compulsion. They come out in some some form of a distorted view of God. It it distorts our identity in Christ. We We don't understand who we are in Christ. We don't understand who God is. And we don't understand what the Word says about any of those things. And so we all need to recover from the brokenness in life. We all need to recover uh, from the issues of life. Now listen, recovery is, 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 is just one of those, I believe, a beautiful word. Because Jesus Christ came to recover the lost, the broken, and the hurting. He came for those that are in recovery. He came for those that need healing. He came for those that need forgiveness. He came for those that need a new start in life. And that's what recovery is. You see, most of us, we struggle with a lot of different things. Recovery could simply mean an absent father wound, a bad childhood, someone being abused, someone being hurt, someone being told that they're that they're unlovable, or they're not even pretty, or they're not, they're not handsome, or they'll never amount to anything. And when we hear those things, they stick inside of us. And they sort of mold us into a person that opposite of God's design and creation for our lives. So we all need to discover what it means to be healed of the root issues of our lives. You see, most people deal uh, with the symptoms of the major root issues of their lives. And so there are a lot of misconceptions about recovery. I have people come to me all the time and say, Bill, I love what you do for those people. And, And I'm thinking to myself, Well, you are one of those people. And I'm grateful that I'm one of those people because I'm one of those people that Jesus Christ died for. And part of the healing process, part of the growing process is to get real and honest about what we struggle with, what we've been hurt, what's hurt us, who's hurt us, how we've hurt others, and how that molded us into the person that we became, but also discovering God's grace and healing so we can discover what it means to be a child of the King and discover our new and true identity in Christ. Now listen, the word addiction is not found in the Bible, but it's a real word. It's a strong word, it's a powerful word. Now the word that the Bible uses for addictions are strongholds. And they're called strongholds because they have a strong hold on you. And strongholds are meant to be pulled down in Jesus' name. God gives us the power to pull down strongholds. And either a stronghold has a stronghold on on you or you're pulling them down in Jesus' name. And every single stronghold in your life needs to be pulled down in Jesus' name. You have the power to do that. God gives you the power to do that. You have the authority uh, to pull down every single stronghold in, in Jesus' name. So listen, recovery is simply the pathway that we need to go through so that we can experience all that God has for us. I love the recovery world because all of us are broken and all of us need recovery.